Hello everyone. Welcome to class 9 science videos of chapter 1. Matter in our surroundings. In the previous videos, we have learned the effect of temperature and pressure on the change of states of matter. Do we always need to change the temperature or pressure to change the state of matter? Come. Let us check it out in this video. You might have noticed that puddles disappear after some time and the level of water in a glass decreases when we keep it uncovered for a long time. What happens to the water in these cases? Here water gets vaporized and changes the state from liquid to gas. How does it happen? Let us check the reason. We learn that particles of matter are continuously moving as they possess kinetic energy. In liquids, the particles at the surface possess more kinetic energy. These energetic particles at the surface can easily break their force of attraction with other particles and escapes as vapor when it gets warmer. This process is known as evaporation. Thus, we can define evaporation as the phenomenon by which a liquid change into gaseous state at any temperature below its boiling point. You know, Wet clothes get dried up due to the same process, that is, evaporation. Now, let us discuss the factors which influence evaporation through an activity. Take a test tube and two open china dishes. Pour 5 ml water into the test tube and a china dish and keep it under a fan. At the same time, Take 5 ml of water in another open china dish and keep it inside a cupboard. Record the room temperature while doing the activity. Observe the test tube and china dishes carefully and find the time or days taken for evaporation of water in all three situations. Is the time taken for the evaporation of water the same in all cases? No, it is different. Water kept in china dish under fan evaporates faster as compared to the water in the test tube. This is because of the large open surface area of the china dish than the test tube. As you know, Evaporation is a surface phenomenon. Water at the surface possesses higher kinetic energy. So, they can easily break the bond between them and escape from the surface as vapor. We can say that the rate of evaporation increases when surface area increases. Now, you might understand why we spread out clothes for drying up. When we spread out the clothes, it will have a larger surface area for evaporation to happen faster. But what about the china dish kept inside the cupboard? Here also, evaporation happens. But slow compared to water in the china dish kept under the fan. Why is it so? Here. Wind flow is the factor that affects the rate of evaporation. Fan enhances the wind flow and helps to remove humid air from the surface of the china dish. As a result, the rate of evaporation is more in the case of water in china dish kept under the fan. But we can observe that wind flow is almost negligible inside a cupboard which slows down the process of evaporation. Therefore, we can say that as wind speed increases, 
the rate of evaporation is also increased. This is the reason why clothes dry faster on a windy day. Now, can you tell me, what will happen when we do the same activity on a rainy day? Yes, it will take more time for the evaporation of water. This is because of two factors, that is, temperature and humidity. As the temperature is high, more particles get enough kinetic energy to go into their vapor state. So, evaporation happens fast on summer days than on rainy days. Also, the atmosphere is more humid on rainy or winter days as compared to the summer. More humid? What do you mean by that? Yes, the amount of water vapor present in the air is called humidity. The air around us can hold only a definite amount of water vapor at a given temperature. The amount of water vapor in the air is already high on rainy days, or we say that humidity is more. That is the reason why the evaporation decreases. Therefore, we can say that the rate of evaporation decreases with an increase in humidity. From this video, we can conclude that the rate of evaporation depends on the following factors. Number 1. Surface area Number 2. Wind speed Number 3. Temperature And number 4. Humidity